Hello and welcome again to TSL Talk. Uh, we've got Brett G's back with us again. Uh, normal colleague Brett Stubbs will be sipping a beer in Thailand somewhere, I believe, Phuket, wherever he is, off uh, enjoying himself. So, Brett, thanks for coming again. Not a problem, Stubbs. He's always on holiday. Does he oh. actually do anything around here? I'm, no, I'm not sure. He does work hard when he wants to, I think, so <laughs> he probably earns a bit of a break. So, uh, Another big round of TSL footy. Uh, I think the biggest result was probably down at Lauderdale on Saturday where the Bombers, they've been pushing for a couple of weeks, they, they really tested Clarence, they tested Launceston and they finally claimed a big scalp in knocking off Glenorchy, which has probably thrown open uh, the league a bit. Well they've been on the verge uh, for three or four weeks, haven't they? they really took it to Launceston last week. Uh, they just played their home ground so well, we, you know, we discussed it um, last, last Monday that you know, they've made that a real fortress. You, know, you go to Lauderdale, you know you're getting a, a, a tough hard fought contest and, and, and that's what they bring at the moment. Uh, they you know they took it to Clarence at Bella Reef uh, at, at, at Clarence's home grounds in a, a game that they just make it a, a, a real fight um, and you know they've got over Glenorchy this week which which was brilliant for them and, and it's exciting because they're a young club and, and Darren Wind is just doing magnificent work uh, with those young boys develop, developing them into uh, into hardened uh, TSL footballers. Yeah, absolutely, and there's no doubt they're the most improved team in the competition from my point of view. You know, as you've touched on, they've had the young group for a couple of years now that they've been working. I think the difference this year, they've added Matthew Smith, who again was best on by the looks of it. Um, a big ruckman in Hayden Smith came over from Melbourne too. Kane Waller has come from Dodgers Ferry, so it's probably just given them a few bigger bodies and they've, uh, they're, they're flying, aren't they? Well, it was good speaking to Darren Winter before the Clarence game. I just asked him about his coaching philosophy heading into the year and uh, Darren's uh, is a man of, of, of a few words. He said, look, we're, we're just telling the boys to have some fun. They want to balk and blind turn and you know, run to the pocket and kick a flash of goal, then, then that's what they do. You know, we're, we're just out here trying to have a bit of fun and trying to win some games of footy. And you know, for a young group, that's it's just the perfect way to coach. And uh, it's really paying off for them. I think they're sitting just outside the finals. And you know, if they continue this form um, and, and take that hard fought you know, sort of drive with them to, to, to the away games as well, you know, I think they'll be a, a serious uh, competitor heading into the finals. Yeah, and I guess on the other side is Glenorchy who have now dropped three of their last four and their only uh, win was uh, that game against Devonport which everybody's beating Devonport at the moment. Do you think there's any concerns out there at uh, KG5? I think there's some serious concerns uh, out of KG5. They, they'd have to be you know, looking at, uh, at, at, at what is happening. They had a few come back into the team this week and um, yeah, I think that they, they would have definitely gone into that game against Lauderdale uh, expecting the win. Acker coming in, um, he was shut down by Josh Sporting who did a, a, an outstanding job. Um, so yeah, look, that, they've got some, got some concerns. I think, it's, I think it's more in their back half. Uh, yeah. you know, their forward structure is good with Bowring and Reynolds. Their midfielders are elite. But just their defenders, uh, you know, they lack that big, tall, burly defender just, you know, just to break open the, you know, those pack marks. And um, but I'm sure they'll, they'll sort themselves out. You know, that Glenorchy have got enough uh, depth there to um, fight their way back. Back, excellent. Yeah. And, and the other close game was uh, Hobart and North Hobart. And look, it doesn't matter whether one team's on top or on bottom with these two. I think every year they seem to really have a, a tight battle. And Hobart went down by two points in a game they really probably should have won. They, they you know, they smashed the Demons for three and a half quarters and just got overrun. Hobart, like Lauderdale, the last couple of years have been thereabouts, but unlike Lauderdale, they just can't seem to get the job done. Yeah, look, that, they'd be most disappointed uh, with that. They, they led throughout the whole match um, and just a game played a 15 minute um, section of footy where they just let themselves down and, and Graham Fox would be absolutely livid with that. Um, but on the flip side, you know, the, the D's finally get a hard fought win. It's it's something that they haven't uh, done a lot this year. They you know they well they came from behind against Hobart last time uh, on Good Friday, but um, you know they they haven't been a team that showed a great deal of grit and, and fight and determination and, uh, and 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 they certainly showed it, um, enough of that in the last quarter to run over the top of Hobart. And uh, Clarence had a big win against South, uh, against Devonport. Sorry up there. You look at the ladder now, and, and Clarence. Uh, now second spot, um, given that we sort of wrote them off a bit early in the season, are you surprised where they are or you think they'd be happy given they've had a, a heap of injuries as well? Oh look, I, I think that they'd be elated with, 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 with uh, second spot, Brett Gape and you know, that, that, they've been under a whole heap of pressure, you know, the media's been onto them, um, you know, everyone's been onto them about you know, their, their poor play and particularly after that game against Lauderdale um, a few weeks back. 
they they were you know extremely down about where their football was at. So for them to be um, in second place and within reach of top spot Launceston, um, it's probably ominous uh, for the rest of the comp. It, it certainly is, and uh, there's no games this weekend. There's a bye. Was, they were looking at a state game against the GWS, but that hasn't. That's not going to go ahead. So we'll Which all is have a disappointing. It, right? it would have been yeah. outstanding to have seen that. It yeah, would have been, it would have been get sheedy great. down here and a few of the young kids. Yeah. But yep. you know, well, I think we'll all have a rest now and uh, recharge again in a fortnight. So Brett, thanks for coming in again. No problem. Hopefully <laughs> you see the tall one next week, and I can still be in bed. <laughs> no worries, mate. And, uh, and remember, for all your TSL news, head to the Mercury online or get the copy of the Mercury.